millions of people become infected with foodborne pathogens every year, and many of those people succumb to disease. Um, and the economic cost is billions of dollars. And so to be able to contribute to solving that problem would be fantastic. So we study how the, path, the foodborne pathogen, Salmonella, recognizes that it's been ingested and then changes the way it behaves in order to um, cause infection and spread throughout the body and cause disease. What's really interesting about Salmonella as a, as a pathogen is that uh, it deals with our immune system quite well. So normally our immune cells will recognize a bacteria, uh, ingest it, and kill it. The overall goal of what we're hoping to accomplish is make Salmonella blind to its environment. And we found that in part ethanolamine signaling uh, is involved in that recognition of our immune system. Ethanolamine is a significant component of cell membrane. And so just the turnover of cells in our intestine uh, constantly replenishes ethanolamine as a source. During different phases of salmonella infection, there are different challenges that it has to overcome. So in the intestine, salmonella has to outgrow the microbiota that are present in our gut in order to establish infection. And so there, ethanolamine is an essential metabolite for salmonella to grow. However, in macrophages, salmonella is basically by itself and it has to change gene expression in order to fight off sort of the defense mechanisms of the macrophages. And what we found was it's the same protein um, that's sensing ethanolamine both in the gut as well as in macrophages, but sort of the regulatory output, our behavior is, is different. So if salmonella can't see the ethanolamine in a macrophage, its ability to survive and withstand our immune response is greatly diminished. From a basic science standpoint, we need to understand not just how to kill these bacteria, but understand how they're manipulating a host environment, how they're actually causing disease. And so we think that our findings will have broad implications for understanding bacterial pathogens and to developing uh, therapeutics that are treatments that have broad applications.